So we named our 1200 horsepower Trackhawk the Reaper Hawk when it was silver and it was kind of like... Don't really go. Yeah, it's, it's got to be dark and terrifying looking. So this is what we did. Step number one was to make this thing dark and we've gone with satin black. We're going to show you some of the process at Epic Designs where this thing gets wrapped. We're going to talk about in this video the other things we're going to do cosmetically. Guys, this thing, if you haven't seen a video on this vehicle yet, it's like 1200 horsepower at the motor. I think it's dyno in the high nines, like 975. We're working through some bugs on it right now. We are gonna turn it up more. We are gonna race everything inside and everything we can get our hands on. Guys, I hate it when you click on something on YouTube and then they make you wait to the very end of the video to see it. So we're gonna show it to you first, then we're gonna talk about it. We've got lights in just a couple different spots and we do have good overhead lighting, but I'm gonna take you around this. Satin, guys, just eats this light up. You can tell in this gloss black carbon fiber down low, it's a lot brighter, even though they're both black, but satin is the trick. I really, really like how you can still see the lines really good and the cuts in the vehicle, but it does just absorb light a lot better. That's pretty cool. We'll talk about that in just a second. We'll go over all the little details. But like Sam said, we just want to take you around. This is a gloss finished carbon fiber splitter. So it does shine a lot more. We left some of the gloss black in here. We're back at Epic Designs, but this is the fourth vehicle they've wrapped for us. They've done the GT350, the GT500, my truck, and now, the Trackhawk. Let's go check it out. Factory color was silver on the Trackhawk and we always knew we wanted to name it the Reaper Hawk. That just wasn't gonna cut it and we needed to darken it up. So we went full 3M satin black. Um, we're gonna have a few little details here and there, some Easter eggs. Go ahead and tell them. Like, okay, Easter eggs, but tell them about the wheels, man. I'm pumped about the oh, wheels. Oh yeah, we got some, we got some avant-garde wheels going on here. They're gonna be a, a bronze and a satin finish. It's gonna be sick. So lots of big changes. Don't have time to get rid of these brake calipers yet, but you know we're gonna- Before the wheels go on, those are gonna change color. Absolutely. We're gonna do something with them. Yep. Easter egg wise, um, this thing's gonna be riddled. Riddled, that's a good word. <laughs> it's gonna be riddled with all kinds of neat little Easter eggs that you guys are gonna have to find when you watch the videos of this vehicle. Over in the corner, Nathan Knapp is working on the sickest door jams. He's not, he's camera shy. He's usually behind the camera, but he's working on the sickest door jam design that's ever went on any vehicle, period. And Seth right here is gonna spend about 20 hours putting that together. At least, yeah. <laughs> back in the back, you know, with the black coming in, it really blends in with the carbon fiber. We need some pop back here. We've been talking about some custom tips, probably something bronze, metallic, something with a little pop. This came with a really thick, I mean, this stuff is thick, guys, PPF, and I don't mind it on the edge, but over the headlight here, like I, I live in East Tennessee, not the bright light city of New York where this thing came from. So that made it really hard to see. We may go back with something uh, lighter that light can get through a little bit better. That's even on the corner over here. I'm gonna peel this corner off. That kind of hid the orange reflector. So it won't be as pretty with this off, but I will be able to see, and we may wrap that whole light in something that's not as dark as well. I don't think I want to put aftermarket headlights on this particular build. Um, these are sick already. They already have the black inside. I mean, the only thing I could hate on is that this uh, clear is not smoked from the factory. And I don't even mind the orange on the side. After we get all the wrap and everything done, we are gonna come in here and have Knox Auto Spa do a full paint correction and then go over everything with ceramic. And that's after we get the full deal done. Now, I'm gonna point something crazy out that you haven't noticed so far. This thing was already fully PPF'd on the whole front clip. You can see the little line here. Can you even see the line there? Uh, that it's has, hard to, it's that hard has to see. PPF on it and you can't see the line. So we're actually leaving the PPF on instead of removing it because we're gonna still have the protection and as I ding this bumper up over time and we wanna redo it with vinyl, it's not gonna have a big ding in the bumper. So when we pull that vinyl back or maybe even not have to, it's still gonna self heal itself. The vinyl won't, the vinyl will have a big nick in it. It'll look silver behind it, but the paint itself will stay protected. And this Dodge paint is so good. It's like Ferrari paint. You don't wanna mess it up because it costs so much to 
get back to the level of quality that Dodge did it when they first painted it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show you the details now. Those door jams we talked about are pretty special. We did film this at Epic with all those guys that did the work, talking us through the work, and then when we got back to edit, we realized we didn't have the microphone plugged in. We do get a second chance to do it. Maybe we'll do it better this time. Door jams, all right. I wanna be honest with you guys. If you hate this, it was all Brad's idea. And if you love it, I helped him figure out all this stuff and we worked on this together. So that being said, here we go. What do y'all think? <laughs> all right. That is loud, ain't it? It, it looks it's, like a wild mess. But it's got a purpose. It's organized chaos. It's pretty cool. So we've got it done front and back and in that B pillar, but I'm gonna actually, oh, they got it all over here too. I'm gonna show you some of the decals that are in here. There's Easter eggs all throughout this, like one-off stickers. There's a can of whoop, uh, some, whoop uh, something like that. Um, you've got all kinds of stuff. And guys, I truly do believe gas is the future. We came up with that. So we've got a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, I'm not gonna go over every little Easter egg because there's too much here and we've got more to do when we go back to Epic to get this thing finished after we have the wheels put on. Um, the wheels are gonna be another couple weeks. You'll see this thing race a lot before we get the new wheels and tires on. But I've seen the colored door jams where they totally don't go with the car. And <clears throat> I like that, but I didn't want that super loud. The only sticker we've got in full color here is this uh, Supreme, I mean, supercharged logo that looks like something else um but I, I wanted to do something wild because with these doors open it's nuts when you shut the doors you can't see anything so it's hidden and it's got a lot of meaning in there we did help uh, them design all those decals so that it does have a lot of stuff that we like and stuff that that we wanted to have on the vehicle do you like it or not let's show them the gas cap man all show right we'll show cap. them the gas cap do you like it or don't let us know down in the comments all right check it out it's corn have you seen that it's corn uh, uh, that's not political guys i did that this uh, E85 only was already here. Yeah, because this is E85 only now. Y'all know this girl right here? Such a nice little girl. This is all wrong. <laughs> How dare you? Woo! You have stolen my dreams. <laughs> and my childhood. <laughs> we will not let you get away with this. <laughs> right here, right now, is where we draw the line. I feel like we shouldn't do a video on this Reaper Hawk without either driving it fast, revving it up, or showing you the motor. Heck, we'll rev it up in this video too. sounds pretty dang good once it's warmed up it's a little eh, when it's trying to warm up on this e85 but we're getting there obviously this is the hellcat motor in the track hawk built to the hilt ported red eye blower swap and it's got about every supporting mod you can do to it guys uh, it will put the power down through the all-wheel drive system but we have a problem uh, we put a couple hundred miles on it in the first video we drove it it drove a little rough it idled rough but the more we drove the more we knew we got something going on. So we checked the trusty old catch can. It's got a little over 11,000 miles in it. And it was full up to the brim, brimming over of some nasty, you know, slimy looking stuff. We're running E85, so it's like that nasty banana pudding. Um, we checked some cylinders, had a little bit of oil in there. Uh, couldn't figure out where that oil was coming from, but after we checked this, we realized it's probably coming through uh, the PCV valve right here and back into the mixing with the fuel and going into the engine. So we got good compression. Uh, we don't know about the heads, but we think they're okay because we have compression. This will be an ongoing thing that we're working through. So that's why we haven't just went out and raced this right away. We did keep our appointment to go and get it wrapped because even if we've got to pull this motor out and build it, 
we want it to look good everywhere it goes and i think we're i think we're getting there so we got to sort through some stuff on this motor before we go do the hardcore racing that we have planned for this bad boy so we also did a little thing with the reaper hawk logo now this is our first version of this this you know with everything on this channel something can always change but uh me and brad were getting thinking about it and we're like you know you got the hellcat the demon the red eye you got a lot of cars where they're already um putting a track hawk badge on there that everybody that has one of these uses because they just get it, it off of cool. ebay it looks cool we wanted to be different so we made the reaper hawk you know from hand sketches that we started out with trying to come up with a good idea to working off the ipad to finish product to where we could have these decals cut out and this is what we came up with guys what do you think i mean this is in black reflective vinyl so in certain lights you don't even see this or notice it's there really but in some light it pops so um, we do have a light right now so it's more than likely showing up more than it does in person when you don't have light hitting but once we're 100 percent sure this is exactly what we want We'll probably have some of these made with the 3D printing or however they're doing those these days and make it look more like an actual Mopar badge. And that's what we got for now. We do have two more big surprises that are carbon fiber that are going on this thing. Big body parts. It's going to totally change the look of this. So we're big. pumped about those. You probably can guess at what some of those are down in the comments. But Sam, knock them out and let's get out of here.